Imagine having an SEO assistant working non-stop on finding SEO opportunities for your website to rank better. If you had to do this manually with Google Search Console, it would take ages to dig through the data just to find some opportunities. But I found a tool that does this on autopilot, so all you have to do is grab the suggestions and execute them. And the tool is SiteGuru. SiteGuru is one of those tools that when I first signed it, I was so excited to test it out because even though it looks simple, it has so much functionality. And that's what it's all about with these SEO tools. We want a lot of functionality, but we want a simple tool because already SEO is super complicated. We don't want the SEO tools to be too complicated as well. So SiteGuru definitely had a great start here. And I started simply by integrating with my Google Search Console and my Google Analytics, and then SiteGuru started to crunch all of my data, crawl my website, so I could get a bunch of suggestions. SiteGuru is a mix of a site audit, an SEO monitoring tool, and an SEO assistant in one. When SiteGuru is done analyzing your website, you basically get a long to-do of things that you have to fix on your website. And this is everything from low-hanging fruits to something that takes a bit more time to fix. And I found some issues with my website that I was missing some alt tags. I was even missing some heading ones and some more different elements that I had to fix. And this is the one side of SiteGuru. That is the technical side audit where it analyzes your entire website to find all the issues that you need to fix. And often these issues are super easy to fix. And I've already fixed a lot of the issues that SiteGuru told me the first time. And the thing here is that every time you ask SiteGuru to reanalyze your website or SiteGuru does it automatically, then it monitors your website. So when you make changes, then SiteGuru monitors that change and then notes it down. And the reason why this is so exciting is because if you run experiments, then you will automatically document your entire experiments using SiteGuru. So for example, let's say that you want to improve or increase your click-through rate. With SiteGuru, you can then change your heading one and then SiteGuru will automatically document your change in your heading one and then you can start monitoring from there. And then after a month, you can look back and then you can see whether it improved, increased or it just flat out didn't change anything. And this is the other part of SiteGuru, that is the SEO monitoring part. So you can easily run experiments because SiteGuru will automatically document all of these things for you. And I think that's super exciting. But this is just one of the things you can do with SiteGuru. You can also set up goals. So let's say that you have written an article and you want it to rank for a specific keyword. Then you can set up as a goal that you want this article to rank for this keyword in position five, for example. And then you can start to do all of your changes to the article, change the content, and SiteGuru even suggests things that you can do to your article to make it rank better. Sometimes they're a little bit generic, like building links. This can both be backlinks, but it can also be internal links, but it also tells you to improve the content or maybe change the meta description. So overall, you get a report on what you can do here and now, but also what you can do in the long run to ensure that your article actually ranks for this keyword and it ranks in the position that you have set as a goal. So once you've set up your goal, you can start to monitor all of your efforts as well to see whether the rankings are going up or they're going down. And this combined with the SEO monitoring feature makes it so interesting to use SiteGuru because you can see every time you've made some changes, whether the rankings are going up or they're going down as well. So I think overall, this is the core of SiteGuru. Even though they have a lot of functionality, this is what's super unique with SiteGuru. And I don't see that many SEO tools offering this type of functionality. But if you want even more suggestions on what you can do for your content to rank for a specific keyword, then they also have the Insights module. And the Insight module is a way for SiteGuru to tell you what you need to do to rank for this specific keyword. And of course, you need to do a lot more than only what SiteGuru is telling you. But SiteGuru is telling you the basic that you need to do. Or you need to include the keyword in your heading one, maybe in your URL and in your meta description as well. Just be aware that often SiteGuru will display the same URL for different types of keywords. And this is completely correct to do because it's up to you to figure out what keyword do you want to pursue. And then all of the other keywords will be secondary keywords. So just be aware of this when you use the Insights module. Because they also have a CTR module within the Insights module. And this is a way for SiteGuru to tell you what to do 
in order to increase your CTR for this specific keyword here. And often it's changing the title to something more appealing or something more click worthy for your article. They also have a super interesting module called low hanging fruits. And of course it's self-explanatory, but it's just small changes you need to do in order to get much more out of Google and many more clicks. So often it is just minor changes you need to do with the URL, the heading, or even your meta description. And then you'll improve your click through rate and get more clicks. Often it's less than a percentage that you need to increase your CTR and then you'll get many more clicks. It's really an interesting module and it's what we're looking for in these types of SEO tools. So this is super exciting as well. And with SiteGuru, you also get an entire link report. And this is everything from broken links to internal redirect links and also internal links as well. And I think this is a great module. It's a small add-on and often you can replace it with a WordPress plugin like Rank Math or even Yoast. But the thing here is that if we fix all of these link issues where we have broken links or redirects, then we improve the user experience with our website. And user experience is a ranking factor for Google. So it's definitely something you want to look at in order to improve your rankings and crawl up slowly in the SERP. So overall, I definitely think SiteGuru is a fantastic tool because it's no secret that everything SiteGuru is doing almost, you can do just with Google Search Console. But the thing is that you save so much time using SiteGuru and often SiteGuru will find specific suggestions that you would have overlooked if you only use Google Search Console. So of course you don't have to go in and start using SiteGuru, but I think it's such an awesome tool with everything from the SEO assistant working nonstop to find suggestions for you. So you save time, but you're still able to execute them, but also the entire tracking part where it tracks all your changes. So you can see whether a change you did is a positive impact on your CTR or your rankings, or it's a negative impact and you need to change that. That is definitely something I have been looking for because right now I'm using Google Sheets and it's not the most optimal way of doing all of my SEO experiments. But using SiteGuru, if they can improve just the goal module a bit more, it'll be the perfect tracking tool for all of my SEO experiments. But using SiteGuru is definitely like having an SEO assistant working for you. And I really like that each individual page has their own analysis. So you can go in, of course, you can see the overall picture of how it's going with your website, but you can also go on each individual page and see the page speed score. You can see whether you need to add some alt tags, you need to change the meta description or something completely different. I really like that because you get an overview of everything, but you also get the individual pages and how you can improve that. And on top of that, then it also shows you new keywords you're ranking for and lost keywords. So if you can see that you're losing some keywords that you have been pursuing, then of course you have to make some changes so you can get those keywords back and start ranking at least in top 100 and then work your way to the top 10. But if you want to try out SiteGuru, then it starts at 29 US dollars per month for two websites. And I think that's a completely fair price. It has saved me so much time. And while it would save you a lot of time in the beginning, fixing all of the site audit issues, then in the long run, it will be the perfect tracking tool to test all of your SEO experiments by saving time that you don't have to note down all of your changes. You don't have to remember to monitor after your changes because SiteGuru will take care of all of that. So if you're looking for an SEO tool to help you run experiments and keep everything in order, then SiteGuru is a perfect way for you to continue to do your SEO experiments. Or if you want to start doing SEO experiments, then SiteGuru can be a great help for you. But I want to give SiteGuru four stars. I'm really excited for this tool but I hope that they will elaborate the goal module so we can run more experiments in the goal module than only ranking higher for a specific keyword. One thing could be that we want to monitor our CTR more closely for a specific keyword or something different. But if you want to see an all-in-one SEO tool that costs half of what Ahrefs and Semrush does and does basically the same and a little bit more, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.